Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, once again, very good morning to everyone. Today we will see the last component of your first unit, which is nothing but typical cross section of urban and rural roads, how the cross section elements are existing and what are the elements we are considering. So this is the last component of your first unit a highway planning. We are going to discuss on it. So probably you might be started already. What are the cross sections elements are there in the highway? So you might be knowing the carriageway, the roadway width for moving the vehicle, what we are provided. So the carriageway it is there, followed by we have the shoulder width. It might be considering as an emergency lane. Then all together we are considering the roadway width. Then the right of way will be there, which include other what we can say the curb, the pedestrians, so other things we are considered. Then the building line will be there. So till what projections the building can be constructed. After the building also, you might be having some of the uh, what we can say buffer area. So including that buffer area, what will be the total length that is considering the sun control line. Then when it is coming to the two lanes road is there. In the middle, sometimes we were providing the median. So that is considering as a median, median width, median and up. Then the chamfer cross slope crown we were provided for the drainage purpose. Then the side slope, which is connected to the drain. Then the curb we have provided with respect to the shoulder and the roadway width. Finally, the guardrail, side drain, pedestrian path, cycle track, and the other components we were provided across the highway road structure. So these are the major cross sectional elements which consisting in your highway roads. So let us see all the components individually. So carriageway as I mentioned that it is in a travel way for the vehicle moving towards that particular directions. It might be considering with respect to the cement concrete road or the pitubanas concrete road. And we have that minimum site clearance with respect to the width of the vehicle. So for that Indian Road Congress, which is nothing but IRC. So it has an a standard. The maximum width of the vehicle is 2.44 meter and the clearance of vehicle is 0.68 if it is a single lane and if it is in a double lane, then it is a 1.02. So the minimum clearance is nothing but so this is in a vehicle 2.4 meter width we are provided and this is in a clearance we are considering together 0.68 meter. So all together what it is coming so that is considering as an a single lane which we are providing. So like that we were defining as a width of the road. So when it is coming to the six lane, single lane, so 2.44 will be there. So either both side we are giving the clearance and totally it is considering as a 3.75 meter. But when it is coming to the two lane, each lane we are considering as a 3.5 plus 3.5. Accordingly, we are defining as a 7 meter. So likewise, the different kind of the terrain type is there, different kind of the road classifications there, which we already seen in the previous class. the Indian conditions. And this is you know, one of the pictorial representations. Uh, two lane, two lane and the median marking it is there, but there is a no median. This is an, a shoulder width end line. Shoulder width is not there, but shoulder way marking we are provided. So this is the width we consider as an, a carriage way, which is used for moving the vehicle. This is nothing but your payment road. The next one will be the shoulder after 
the carriage way the shoulder lane we were provided so that is considering as an emergency lane for the vehicle some emergency purpose if the vehicle get the breakdown so park the vehicle we are using the shoulder width if it is considering as an a truck then we are considering a 4.6 meter as an a minimum one with respect to the clearance of 1.85 meter the irc is recommended minimum of 2.5 meter shoulder width is required okay to bear the capacity of that particular road structure and also it is differ with respect to the surface uh, when you are comparing with the carriage way and the shoulder so this is a little rougher surface when it is to the shoulder purpose and basically it won't carry the traffic as i mentioned that uh, for the emergency purpose only we are using then the color is differ from the normal carriage way so this is an a uh, defining of the shoulder and you can able to understand so this is a shoulder way this is the regular uh, carriage way to move the vehicle and this is in a shoulder we were providing without any segregations the lane marking way, shoulder marking is there but it is totally differ from the regular traffic so that's why we can able to understand the purpose and the different of the shoulder then the right of way or width of the roadway or the formation is so the width of the roadway in the sense the roadway we have a seen other than that if you are providing median and the shoulder so all together we are considering as an a width of the roadway so that is the things we are defining the term width of the roadway or formations width then the second one will be the right of way so the four is the right of way then the building line control line so the different lines we are defining your total width so the first one is with of the roadway what it is existing so that is considering as an a width of way right of way is nothing but the future expansions so including the future expansions the land is acquired or the occupied and the constructions are happening so those things is considering as an a right of way so this is the second one right of way third one will be the straight one the building also incorporated after the Uh, what we can say shoulder and the future expansions considerations so all together it is considering as an a building line as i mentioned that the offset will be there the setback distance when you are trying to provide with respect to the building line so that is considering as an a overall the control line so this is a four boundaries explanations has been given to define the cross sections formations with which is existing the carriage way and the shoulder right of the way including the future expansions building line considering in plus the building which we are considering when it is coming to the control line the setback distance also incorporated so according to that the length is defining as an a control line so this is the four boundaries can be explained when it is coming to the cross sections of your road the next the straight forward term is traffic separators or the median i uh, hope you have visited nit tiruchi when you are travelling palpanna junction to the nit tiruchi you can able to see the median mark median so this kind of the median you can able to see it so this is considering as an a median or the traffic separator basically it is using to avoid the head on collisions vehicle is moving in this directions and it is coming into the off direction if there is a no median then there is a high probability of accident head on collision to avoid this accident to make the regular flow of the traffic with respect to the directions and the lane we are constructing the traffic separator and the median it has an a standard irc has an a different standard so we are following that particular standard for the width so basically it has an a minimum of 1.2 meter when it is coming to the urban area but when it is coming to the highways the national highway or the state highways and all the disabled with is considering as an a 5 meter but it may reduce till the 3 meter also so this is the things and the applications when it is coming to the traffic separator or the median the next one will be the cross slope or the chamber so which might not be visible physically but the road we are constructed right the pavement or the concrete road so it is not on a straight line so we have a given the slight inclinations so slight slope we are provided because when the rain is falling so the 
drainage of the drain of the rain has to happen so that is the reasons we are providing the minus slope so the slope is considering as a cross slope or the chamber which drain the water okay then it is connecting end the drainage system so this is the purpose of the cross loop and with respect to the irc standard we are provided a certain type of the percentage so this is in a things different type of that road surface and the different kind of the percentage we were defined with respect to the rain type it might be the heavy rain or the light rain so according to that we were provided and it has the different shapes parabolic or the straight line or the combination of parabolic and the straight line so these are the things with respect to the cross slope so cross slope we have to provide with respect to the irc standard of the percentage as well as the defined uh, shape if you are not providing so definitely it will make the uncomfortable for the drivers a uh, lot of wearing and tearing used to happen then the drain water may get the penetrations towards your subgrade soil and all so those kind of that issues we can able to uh, observe it if you are not providing the proper crossing slope at the same time we are providing the curve curve is Uh, differentiating your pavement and the shoulder, the carriage way, the vehicle moving right, the carriage way, also the shoulder what we are provided. So we are segregating. So this is the uh, things curve. So curve is basically it has an a three type. One is low or mountable curve. So here there is a no difference. It will be the straight. Okay. So very easily you can able to shift your vehicle to the shoulder. I can park or you can make the emergency. Uh, what we can say uh, service on that particular road. So the curb is we are providing as a very minimum as a ten centimeter. It is easily mountable for the all the vehicle, which we have seen in the first picture of today's session. The second will be the semi barrier curb. So the height is fifteen centimeter. It is slightly difficult to climb, uh, but Uh, the vehicle can able to park or travel in that curb uh, with respect to the little bit difficulties uh, because there we can able to observe the pedestrian walking in that particular shoulder width so to avoid the conflict or the issues with respect to the pedestrian and the vehicle we were provided the semi barrier curb finally the third barrier type is that barrier type so there is no provisions to vehicle travel in that particular things Uh, the height is adjusted with respect to the pedestrian movement. Maybe the city area we can say, okay, for that we are totally segregated. So this is in a three type curve. Maybe the figure if you are seeing, seeing you you can able to understand. So this is in a semi barrier. The vehicle can able to climb for the emergency purpose, but other things under totally barrier. So you cannot climb. Okay. So this is the three types. With respect to the pedestrian movement and the requirement, we were provided the curb, uh, which is segregated in the shoulder as well as the uh, carriage way width. The next one will be the guard rail. Uh, it is very easy to understand. Uh, it is provided along with the shoulder. Okay, and the main purpose is that to uh, when we are turning, so there is a high possibility of vehicles skidding and falling down, uh, particularly in the horizontal curve. Suddenly, if you are getting the vehicle is out of control, it may go and fall down out of the road. So to avoid those kind of the issues, we are provided the guardrail or the barriers. Sometimes the vehicle movement also will be there, pedestrian movement also will be there. To segregate the pedestrian and the vehicle, we are providing the guardrail. So these kind of the segregations also, when it is traveling in the night time, the visibility has to be increased. So to provide the night. Time better visibility. We are providing the guardrail on the field, so that is an applications. Then the different kind of the marking are the center line marking. Uh, okay, center line marking itself continuous marking will be there, which means that overtaking is prohibited. If the breaking line is there, then overtaking is of this lane changing behavior is allowed. So those kind of the decisions we can make it from the center line marking. Then the shoulder line marking also continuously as well as the braking will be there. It's same meaning, so you can cross that line if it is braking. If it is not braking, you are not allowed to cross it. Then the yellow line will be there, white line will be there, and yellow line is indicating for the parking purpose. So these are the example for the road marking. Likewise, we have the parking lane, including the parking marking. 
lay bay and bus bay is also there so maybe you can see this figure you might be understanding so this is the lay base so along the corridor in your highway the lay base we were provided for the parking purpose okay and the parking space also parking lane also we were provided and the bus space in the typical in your town also you might be saying the road is going on suddenly the bus bay is coming bus is stopping then again it is coming so this is in a road and this will be the median the opposite also it will be there so this is the bus bay maybe in the palpani junctions also this portions you can able to see it the stoppage of the vehicle in the palpani junctions we have the bus bay so this is an example for the bus bay as well as uh, what we can say lay bay and the parking lane other than that we have the uh, different kind of the tracks frontage road so when it is, uh, maybe you might be understanding the service road the highway is going on if you want to enter into that particular city so from the highways highway it will go straight away but from the highway parallelly some road is coming it is traveling and it is connecting to the city so this kind of the parallel road considering as an a frontage road which give the access for the cities or the some of the space which you want to connect it so that is considering as a frontage road driveway this is we already discussed in the yesterday class the highways will be there in the highway petrol pump will be there if you want to connect the petrol pump so the small road is going connecting filling the petrol and again it is coming and again it is coming to the highway so this drive road is constructed by that particular petrol pump wala so that road is considering as a driveway or else the road is going on as i told that your apartment is there so to connect to that apartment the personal road is constructed so that is considering as an a driveway so other than that the cycle tracks we have as per the irc the minimum width of the cycle track is 2 meter then the pedestrian width is there uh, pedestrian path we have to provide the minimum of 1.5 meter for the indian conditions so these are the other facilities along your road stretch we have provided to uh, give the facilities for the driver cyclist as well as the pedestrian so this is the frontage road uh, from the foreign conditions i have given a separate road is there from the highway to connect to the highway or this kind of the parallel service road we were provided and finally we are ending here so this is in a cross sectional element when it is coming to the cutting the lateral you might be studied the uh, what are the layers are there for the flexible as well as the rigid pavement it start with the sub grade sub base okay then base will be there then the binder goes bearing goes we were provided and when it is coming to the rigid pavement only the concrete will be the right the sub grade will be there base will be there then the cement concrete will be there so this is the lateral cross sectional but when it is coming to the longitudinal cross sectional so this is the carriage way road way with we were provided this is the lane 1 lane 2 sometimes median will be there here once the carriage way is over so we were provided the shoulder between the shoulder and the carriage way we are providing the curb also the slope we are provided this is the cross slope it will be very minor percentage it, since it is a cross sectional we can able to see that particular cross slope so this is the things we were provided carriage way all together it is considering as an a road way width so this is a typical scenario for the two lane uh, there is a no median it is there two lane uh, okay uh, cross sectional elements which considered till the shoulder so after the shoulder what would happen as i told that median will be there road way width will be there then the curb will be there then the shoulder will be there so till the carriage way so this is including the median it is considering as an a carriage way width when it is considering the carriage way width curb and the earth shoulder so that is considering as an a road way width followed by what will be there the drainage will be there then the pedestrian track or the cycle track will be there if it is a cycle track then again the pedestrian track will be there then the future expansions will be there then the building line will be there building setback distance will be there so according to that we were defining the cross section element so it might be the questions might be asking the two lane divided or the four lane divided according to that you have to make the cross section elements which i have shown all the elements in the previous slides so according to that you try to draw the things
if it is asking in the exams. So this is another scenario. Yeah, maybe this figure you might be getting the better clarity. Uh, the carriage way it is there, then the shoulder will be there. Carriage itself, the chamfer or the cross slopes we have a provided. Then the side slope we have a connected, which is connected to the drainage area. But here the cycle track, pedestrian track are missing. So that you try to include it. So altogether considering as a roadway margin or the formations width that can be considered. Then the road boundary is given with respect to the future expansion. Then the building with respect to the setback distance we were provided that is considering as a control line. So this is in a typical cross sectional elements. So how the questions are asking according to that you have to think what are the component can be incorporated then you have to define it. So this might be the highway or the rural way. So that what there is no pedestrian and the cycle track. In case if it is coming to the urban area, which is nothing but the city center area, there the pedestrian cycle movements will be there. Uh, cycle and the pedestrian movement will be there. So there you have to consider pedestrians as well as the uh, what we can say cycle track. If, if it is in the urban area like a Tirichi score area, Chennai, Hyderabad, Delhi core area and all, we have to consider what we can say that cycle track as well as the pedestrian track. OK, so this is in a typical way you understand what are the elements are there when it is coming to the road cross section and what is the main purpose applications and how we are giving on the field. So this is the things of your last components and this is the one typical example how the cross sections is existing for the highway without the cycle track and the pedestrian track median it is there then the proper marking is the carriageway okay then the shoulder is provided future expansions is provided then the boundary line it will be there there's a no building if it is there then the building line control line will be there so this is in a typical scenario and these are the reference you can refer it and here I'm ending our today session as well as the your fifth oh, sorry first unit. So basically we started with that main motivations of this particular uh, subject why you want to study highway and the payment engineering and I have highlighted with respect to the different applications. Then we studied about the journey of the transportations from the day one from the walking to metro mono facilities how it is existing and what are the different modes are there like airways, uh, high, uh, what we can say, roadways, waterways and all. Then we narrow down towards the roadway and we understand the characteristics of the roadway, how the highway development are happened with respect to the technologically and what is the Indian development that we covered. Quickly we have uh, seen the different kind of the pattern, how the facilities are designed perfectly and the roads are classified. That we have uh, seen as in a fourth chapter then the highway alignment requirement and the controlling factors we try to cover it and the problems under we are going to cover from the second unit then you already versatile in the field of surveys and advanced surveys but how it is applied in the field of the transportation engineering particularly when it is coming to the new highway project how the systematics report has been prepared with the help of the conventional and the modern method so that we covered in that uh, sixth chapter the finally in the today section the basics the cross sectional elements of the roads we have seen also i have explained what are the elements are there if it is coming to the urban what is coming if it is coming to the rural how it is coming that we covered and with respect to the, your competitive exam the different elements we have studied and the irc has the different values so there is a high possibilities of asking uh, the questions competitive questions in case if it is a cross slope OK, in the bituminous road for the hilly stations, how or what is the percentage that might be questions we can expect. So those kind of the things also we can expect from your last chapter. So this is in a uh, complete combination of your first unit and uh, the materials also we have a circulated. It has a lot of scope for asking the questions for your competitive exam since it involves various years, numbers and various IRC values and all. So whenever you are getting a free time, you go through the PPT once, but I highly suggest to play back the videos and you understand what are the components we have covered in the class. So any doubt from the today sessions quickly, we can raise one or two questions. 
and coming monday onwards we will start our second unit any doubt student okay if there is no doubt we will wind up our today sessions we will meet on monday thank you everyone stay safe thank you sir thank you thank you sir yes sir yeah thank you everyone i am ending the session